One of my biggest fears is fainting. Because I feel like the dresses, they get heavier and heavier. And I just feel like it's gonna be that one Met Gala. The weather's gonna be like 80 degrees outside and the dress is just gonna be heavy and I might pass out. How tall is it standing right now, though? I think it's about eight, eight and a half feet tall. And, and this is the height that she's gonna be standing on the carpet? Yeah, she'll, okay. be, she'll be around eight and a half feet tall. We had the opportunity to kind of wear whatever we want and yeah. highlight whoever we wanted. Yeah. And I thought Windowsim was perfect. I feel like their brand is, is based on fantasy, like a dreamland mixed into reality. I saw this designer, I saw his dress. It was like a very extravagant yellow lime green color. And I was like, I have to go to the Met with this dress. And then like Colin been wanting to do this idea where I look like I'm aged. He been wanting to do this for the Met Gala for a very long time. And I always thought he was out of his mind. I don't know how he convinced me to do it this year, but I guess it's because he convinced me because of the theme. So I'm like, fine, I'm gonna give it a try. I know like when you give face, mm -hmm. like the outfit gives, but when you give face and hair, it's very important. Those are very important elements. It's an interesting experience seeing yourself old. It is gonna be very, like my mom, she's very anti-surgery on herself, but I'm the fuck not. I know for a fact when I'm like in my 70s and everything, I want to look like I'm 45. So I am going to do a facelift, absolutely, yes. But if you were in your seven, you want to be 75 and you want to like age gracefully and everything, good for you, but not good for me. <laughs> I got a couple of gray hairs. I got like three of them bitches long up to my ass, but I just want to look sexy forever. Why can't I just want to be sexy forever? Like I am a sexy bitch and I want to stay like a sexy bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a society thing. I don't want to be sexy for Anybody else? Like even now when I do cosmetic surgeries and everything, like when I get like a lipo or whatever the fuck done, I'm not doing it for society. I'm not doing it for my man. I'm doing it for myself. Like I picture what I want to look like and what I want to look like, I want to achieve it. Like fuck a society. Do it for your motherfucking self. I do it for me. So you guys know that I was gonna go with prosthetics and everything on the red carpet, but I just felt like it was too risky. And I don't know if it was gonna read well on camera. So it's like, no. So now we're trying to figure out what we're doing next for the hair. I mean, we're gonna do a turban, but we don't want it to look too much like, I like it like that. So it's just like, I wonder how we're gonna do a little fling flang flare. But thank God for Tokyo and Erica and everybody else. My color of my eyes are, as you can see, is like the perfect emerald. It goes with my nails, but it's gonna go with my jewelry. After I, you do the hard, super hard part, which is the red carpet, and like you just hope that you don't like smile like this, like. And the hardest part is like being inside the Met and being social with other artists that you like and you don't like. <laughs> So you gotta be social with people and stuff like that. And it's like really, it takes a lot from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like a Libra. Like I'm very anti-social, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, I'm like cocooned up. Like I'm like a uncocooned butterfly. I'm also really scared for my dress because I have to get like practically on a little podium with very tall heels. I wonder how many, how many inches is my heels? 15 inches heels. Like it's just, it's very overwhelming, you know? I'm 31, but I've been through so much in my life. And like, you know, I started being like, you know, I was a little fast. 
So I'm like really like 45 to me in my head because, you know, like I was outside early. You might have to fold. That looks ugly right there. Wait, I think it can go down more. Because earlier we're down more. You want to put it down more? Yeah, we're and then all brushes down. In the room with her. All right, here we go. Okay, can I pull it down? Yeah, I'm doing that from the back. When I did WAP, everybody took it as a very empowering moment. When I do these type of moments, I don't think about like, oh, I'm purposely trying to do something that's empowering. I just want to do something different. Am I taller than Colin? Let's see. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I can't be him. I'm excited to wear that dress, to be honest with you. I want to wear that dress, I want to take my pictures, and I just want to take the dress off right away. Because it's a lot, it's so heavy. It's really, really heavy.